video we are going to solve a problem on how to determine the transfer function of a system using the block diagram reduction technique so let's see the question So this is the system for which we have to find out the transfer function using the block diagram reduction technique. So let's solve this question. If we analyze this block diagram, then we see that there are no two blocks which are in series or which are in parallel combination. So we can't reduce the blocks if we see it no series and no parallel blocks are there so we cannot apply the series combination rule and the parallel combination rule so we have to just move either any of the summing point or any of the takeoff point so this summing point cannot be shifted this summing point cannot be shifted we can only shift either of these two takeoff points so if we shift this takeoff point before this block G3 then G3 and G4 blocks they will come in series combination. So just move this takeoff point before the block G3. So if we move this then the transfer function of G3 it will be multiplied with H1 okay so let's draw the block diagram after applying this rule This take point will be shifted here and G3 will be multiplied with H1. So we have applied the rule that we have shifted this takeoff point to this position okay so and uh, this g3 it is multiplied with h1 now g3 and g4 they are in series and uh, this combination will then come in parallel with the block g5 and g2 and h1 g3 they are forming a feedback loop so let's first solve these g3 and g4 blocks
So this is the block diagram which we have okay after applying the rule that G3 and G4 they are in series formation. Now this G3 and G4 they are in parallel with the block G5. So we will find the transfer function of these two blocks. So this is the transfer function of these two So we have obtained the, we have uh, solved this that G5 and G3, G4, they are in parallel. So we have solved this. Now if we see that this G2 and H1, G3, they are forming a feedback loop. So let's solve this. Because it is a negative feedback loop, so when we solve this, we will get plus sign in the denominator. That is G2 upon 1 plus H1 G2 G3. And this block is as it is. So we have eliminated this feedback loop and we have replaced it by a single block having the transfer function G2 upon 1 plus H1 G2 G3. Now these three blocks they are in series. So their transfer function will be multiplied. So let's apply this rule. So this is, we have multiplied the transfer function of the three blocks and uh, if we see this, we have obtained a feedback loop again. So let's eliminate this feedback rule uh, loop by applying the feedback rule. Because here we are having negative sign, so it will be positive here, 1 plus H2, G1, G2, G3, G4 plus G5 and divided by this term, 1 plus H1, G2, G3 and output is same, that is CS and this is our input. Rs. So we know that the transfer function it is the ratio of the output and the input so it will be Cs by Rs will be equal to this whole term. So let's solve this term we have G1, G2, G3, G4 plus G5 divided by this term and this term they will be cancelled out when we solve it. So we will get 1 plus H1 G2 G3 plus H2 G1 G2 G3 G4 plus H2 G1 G2 G5. So this is the transfer function of the system which is given to us in the equation. So I hope you have understood the question clearly. Thank you.